Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about operations with complex numbers. And we're going to simplify. So, I was given this problem. I plus 6i. So, if I was given I plus 6i, I needed to simplify that. Well, since we have an I and I being imaginary, I and 6i together, they can act similarly to like if it was just a variable. Okay? So I plus 6i, well, if we have one I and six I's, we have seven I's. So we have seven I right there. And that's actually it. That's all we have to do. Our final answer is just seven I. Three plus four plus six. If I wanted to simplify this, well, we want to combine our, our like numbers, okay? So we have our real numbers and our imaginary numbers. Our real numbers being 3 plus 4, right? 3 and 4. So that together comes uh, together to be a 7. 6i doesn't have any other uh, imaginary part to it, so we just have a 6i there. So we have 6i, and there we go. Our final answer here, our final complex number here, is 7 plus 6i. 3i plus an i. Well, we have a 3i plus an i. Since they both have i in it, we can treat it for the, in this problem just like a variable. So we combine 3i plus i to a 4i. That's it. Our final answer here is just 4i. Negative 8i minus 7 well, since negative 8i and minus 7i both have i in it, in this case, we can treat i as if it's like a variable, okay? So we have negative 8i minus 7i. Well, we combine those two together to get a minus 15 or negative 15i. And that's it. Pretty simple. Our final answer here is just a negative 15i. Negative 1 minus 8i. Minus 4 minus i. Well, what we want to do is we want to combine our quote unquote like numbers. Okay? So we have a minus 1 and a minus 4. We can kind of combine these two together. So a negative 1 and a negative 4 come out to be combined to be a negative 5. And then we have a negative 8i and a minus i, which is to combine together. We can almost treat like they're variables 8i and uh, negative i. It's a negative 9i. And so our final answer here, nothing else we can do to simplify, is negative 5 minus 9i. 7 plus i plus 4 plus 4. Well, when we're simplifying this, we want to essentially combine our like numbers, okay? So our like numbers are 4, so we can combine them together. 4 plus 4 is 8, so we have 7 plus i plus 8. Well, we also have the 7 and the 8 we can combine. So if we want to combine that 7 and the 8 together, that comes out to be a 15, and the i is just by itself. i had nothing else that it can combine with because, well, there's no other i's out there. So our final answer here is just 15 plus i. Negative 3 plus 6i minus negative 5 minus 3i minus 8i. Well, we can almost, in this problem, treat i like it's a variable. Okay, So we're going to kind of bring our numbers together. Uh, what we can are i's and then the regular numbers, the real numbers. Okay, so. Just like we normally would. The negative 3 plus 6i we cannot combine, but we can distribute this uh, subtraction sign across. Uh, subtracting a negative 5 is like adding a positive 5, right? And subtracting a negative 3i is like adding a positive 3i. And then we have minus 8i right there. Okay? Well, we can combine some of our like terms here. We have 5 plus a, or not like terms, like numbers. 5 plus a negative 3 is a positive 2. Okay? So we combine those together, and then let's, let's just do the 6i plus 3i, which together brings us a 9i. And then we bring down the minus 8i. So now we have 2 plus 9i minus 8i. Well, 
which can combine the 9i and 8i together to give us just a positive 1i, right? So we have 2 plus, or negative 8i, so we have 2 plus a positive 1i, and there we go. Our final answer is just 2 plus i. 3 plus 3i plus 8 minus 2i minus 7. All right. Well, what I want to do now is I want to combine my like numbers, okay? So I'm looking at the 3 and the 8. I'm going to see if I can bring that together. So let's, um, let's actually rearrange it. Let's rearrange all of our like numbers next to each other. We have 3 plus 8 minus 7. And then, right, the minus 7, 8, the 3. Then we have the plus 3i, the minus 2i. Now that I've rearranged this, it's pretty easy to combine them. Um, our like numbers, 8 plus uh, 8 minus 7 is a 1, so we have 3 plus 1 here. Plus 3i minus 2i, just a just regular i, positive 1i. And 3 plus 1 is 4, so we have 4 now plus i. And we've combined our like numbers, in a sense, to get to our final uh, answer here, 4 plus i. 4i times negative 2 minus 8i. Well, I look inside my parentheses first. Nothing I can do to simplify, right? They're not like numbers. It's minus 2 minus 8i. But I can distribute this 4i across the both parts. So that's what I'm going to do. I have 4i times a minus 2 is a negative 8i. And 4i times a minus 8i is a minus, well, that's 32i squared. So we have 32i squared, right? 4 times uh, 8 is 32, and the minus is out there, and i times i is i squared. And this is where imaginary numbers differ from their properties with variables, okay? i squared we know is negative 1, so we have to then rewrite this to be negative 8i minus 32 times a negative 1. Well, 32 times a, or negative 32 times a negative 1 is a positive 32, so we have minus 8i plus 32, and we usually write this with our normal number out first. So we have a 32 out front, plus a negative, or in this case, subtraction, because it's minus 8i. So we have subtraction here, subtracting an 8i. That's it. Our final answer is just 32 minus 8i. Times a negative i. Well, we have 5i times a negative i. We multiply these together, well, we have a negative, right? 5i times negative i is a negative 5i squared. So we have five, negative 5i five squared. Now this becomes tricky though, because we know i squared is a negative 1, and we must change that. So we have a negative 5 times a negative 1, and it's a negative 5 times a negative 1, positive 5. So all of this comes down to be a final answer of just 5. 5i times i times negative 2i. So again, there's multiplication all across here. So let's just break it down one by one. <clears throat> we have 5i times i. So let's do that first. 5i times i is 5i squared. Well, and then we bring down the times negative 2i. We'll just forget that part. Well, i squared we know to be a negative 1. So we have 5 times a negative 1 right here. Well, negative 1 times 5, right, let's bring that up again, we multiply by negative 2i, almost forgot it again. 5 times negative 1 is a negative 5. So we have negative 5 times a negative 2i. So now we multiply these together. Negative 5 times a negative 2 is a positive 10. So we have positive 10i right here. And so our final answer again is just 10i. Minus 4i times 5. So we have minus 4i times 5i. Well, <clears throat> we're going to multiply them together. Negative 4 times 5 is a negative 20. Pretty simple. And i times i is i squared. Got it. But now we know i squared has to be a negative 1. Now we must rewrite that. We must you know, turn it into a negative 1. So we have negative 20 times a negative 1 now. Well, now we keep simplifying. Negative 20 times a negative 1 is a positive 20. So we have a positive 20 right there. And that is 
fun I'll answer. There's not much more we can simplify past one. Minus two minus i times four plus i. Okay. Well, we want to distribute this. We want to uh, essentially foil, right? And we're going to treat i like it's a variable, kind of. All right. We'll see where the difference comes. So let's just do that. Minus two times four is a minus eight. Minus two times i is a minus two i. Minus i times four is a minus four i. And minus i times a minus r times an i is a minus i squared. Okay. So now we, we just need to simplify so it combines some things. Well, minus i is, or minus h is out there, but a minus two i and minus four i come out to be a minus six i. Subtracting six i. And then here's the kicker. We have minus now, i squared we know is a negative one. So now we have minus a negative one. Interesting. So now we have uh, negative eight minus six i minus a negative one, which is like plus a positive. So I'll show that. Minus eight minus six i plus a positive one, right? Subtracting a negative like adding a positive. Well, now we can combine the one and the minus eight. Negative eight plus one is a negative seven. So we have a negative seven out here. And then we bring down the minus six i. And there we have it. Our final answer here is just negative 7 minus 6 i. 7 minus 6 i times negative 8 plus 3 i. Okay, well, what I want to do is I want to multiply all parts of my first parenthesis times all parts of my second parenthesis. You might know this as FOIL. 7 times a negative 8 is a negative 56. 7 times a 3i is a positive 21i. Now let's do it with the minus 6i. Minus 6i times a minus 8 is a positive 48i. And minus 6i times a 3i is a minus 18i squared. So now let's go simplify a little bit. Negative 56 comes down, but 21i plus 48i comes out to be a 69i. And then we subtract now 18 times well, i squared we know is a negative 1. So this is where it's different than a normal variable in a sense. Um, i squared becomes a negative 1. So let's simplify that a little bit. Um, that subtracting uh, 18 uh, times a negative 1 is like adding a positive 18. So we have negative 56 here plus 69i plus 18. So now we want to combine the negative 56 and a positive 18. And that comes out to be a negative uh, 38. So we have a negative 38 right there plus 69i, and there we go. Our final answer here is just negative 38 plus 69i. 7i times 3i times negative 8 minus 6i. Now, since we see the 3i out front, we think instantly, oh, I should just distribute it across. I'm actually going to multiply the 7i times 3i first. That's going to be my first step. Okay? So 7 times 3 is 21. And i times i is i squared. So we have 21i squared here. Then we have a negative 8 minus 6i inside the parentheses. Well, i squared we know is a negative 1. We need to convert that. So we have 21 times a negative 1 times a negative 8 minus 6i. Well, 21 times negative 1 is a negative 21. So we have a negative 21 out here times negative 8 minus 6i. Okay, so now we can distribute that negative 21 inside. Negative 21 times 8, which I'm going to do with the calculator here. Negative 21 times a negative 8 comes out to be a positive 168. And we distribute the negative 21 times that negative 6i. So 21 times 6 is just a negative, or a positive, right? Negative 21 times a negative 6i is a positive positive, uh, 126i, and there we have it. Our final answer here is just 168 plus a 126i. 4 minus 5i times 4 plus i. All right. Well, what I want to do first is I'm going to, um, in a sense, distribute or FOIL, if you will, you've heard that before. 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 times i is a positive 4i. Negative 5 times 4 is a negative 20i, and negative 5 times, uh, 5i times i is a negative 5i 
squared. So let's just simplify this a bit. 16 just comes down. Let's combine the 4i and minus 20i to get a negative or minus 16i. Right? 4i minus 20i is a negative 16i. Now we have the minus 5 times, well, i squared becomes a negative 1. So we have a negative 1 right there. So we have negative 5 times a negative 1, which is really a positive 5. We had a positive 5 there. So we have 16 now minus 16i. I'm right that just as minus. And then a negative 5 times negative 1 is a positive 5. So we have a positive 5 right there. Well, let's combine the positive 5 and 16 to be a 21. So we have a 21 now minus 16i. And that is our final answer. Two minus four i times negative six plus four i. Well, what we want to do is we're going to, in a sense, foil this. All right, so I multiply all parts of my first parenthesis by all parts of my second parenthesis. Two times negative six knows that to be a negative twelve, and two times four i is an eight i, so plus an eight i. Then we have negative 4i times a negative 6, which is a positive 24i. And then negative 4i times a positive 4i is a negative 16i squared. So now we need to simplify this. Well, and this is where it gets a little different uh, than i uh, being like a variable where it's a complex number, imaginary number. Negative 12 just comes down, but we can combine these two. So we have combined these two. 8i and 24i is a 30 2i. But then here's the tricky part. i squared becomes a negative 1. So we have negative 16 times a negative 1. Well, negative 16 times a negative 1, right, is a positive 16. So we have negative 12 here plus 32i plus 16, right? Because we're subtracting 16, but it's going to be negative 1 times 16 and negative 16. Let's subtract that positive 16. So now we can combine are real numbers, the negative 12 and the 16. We combine them together to get a positive 4. We bring down the 32i, and we have our final answer, 4 plus 32i. Negative 3 plus 2i times negative 6 minus 8i. What I want to do is multiply all parts of my first parenthesis by all parts of my second parenthesis. Negative 3 times a negative 6 is a positive 18. And negative 3 times a negative 8i is a positive 24i. 2i okay. times a negative 6 is a negative 12i. And 2i times a negative 8i is a negative 16i. Okay, so let's make sure we get all of our negatives and positives together. Negative, negative, positive. Uh, or sorry, negative, negative, positive. Negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, negative. There we go. All right, and that's actually negative 16i squared. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we want to combine, all right? So we combine the 24i and the negative 12i. So we bring down the 18. 24i minus 12i is a positive 12i. And then here, the negative 16 i squared becomes a negative 1, all right? So now we see, okay, uh, negative 16, the negative 1, right? negative 1 times 16 is a negative 16, we have not a negative, so it's positive. So we have 18 plus 12i plus 16. So now let's go combine 18 and 16 together. Oh, and that comes out to be uh, there's a 4 there, okay, there's a 1, 3, 34. 34 plus, bring down a 12i. And there we have it. Our final answer here is just 34 plus 12i. 8 minus 6i times negative 4 minus 4i. Well, what I want to do is uh, multiply all parts of my first parenthesis by all parts of my second parenthesis. So 8 times the negative 4 is a negative 32. 8 times a negative 4i is a negative 32i. Negative 6i times a negative 4 is a positive 24i. And negative 6i times a negative 4i is a positive 24i squared. So now what we're going to do is combine our i's in the middle. So negative 32 comes down. 
And then we have negative 32i plus a 24i is a negative 8i. So we have a negative 8i or minus 8i right there. All right. And then we bring down the plus 24. But instead of i squared, we know that's a negative 1. So but we can simplify a little more. Negative, uh, 24 then times a negative 1 is a negative 24. So we have negative 32 minus 8i minus 24. Well, let's combine our two real numbers, the negative 32 and a negative 24, and come out to be a negative 56. So we have a negative 56 out here, minus 8i. And that is our final answer. 1 minus 7i, and this is all squared. Well, we know when we square something like this, it's really the same thing written twice. So we have 1 minus 7i, with multiplication times 1 minus 7i. So now let's multiply all parts of my first parenthesis and all parts of my second parenthesis. 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times a 7i is, or minus 7i is a negative 7i. Negative 7i times 1 is a negative 7i, and negative 7i times a negative 7i is a positive 49i squared. Well, let's go simplify this a little bit more. 1 comes down, minus 7i, minus 7i is a minus 14i, right there. And then we have the 49, but instead of i squared, that's a negative 1. So we have a negative 1 right there. Well, negative 1 times 49 is a negative 49, right? So we have 1 minus 14i minus 49 right there, okay? Well, minus 49 and 1, let's combine those together. That's a negative 48, so we have a negative, uh, if I'm right here, 48 minus 14i, and pretty simple, our final answer here is just a negative 48 minus 14i. 6 times negative 7 plus 6i multiplied by negative 4 plus 2i. Well, I'm going to leave the 6 on the outside for right now, and I'm going to multiply all parts of these parentheses to each other. So, we have 6 out here. Negative 7 times a negative 4 is a positive 28. And negative 7 times a positive 2i is a negative 14i. 6i times a negative 4 is a negative 24i. And 6i times 2i is a positive 12i squared. So let's go simplify inside with this big parenthesis. 6 comes down, 28 just stays there. But minus 14i and minus 24i is a negative 30. 8i. And then we add 12 times, well, i squared is a negative 1. Okay? Well, 12 times negative 1 is a negative 12, so we have 6 here times 28 minus 38i minus 12. Now we combine the negative 12 and the 28 to get a positive uh, 14. So we have uh, 16. Oh my god, 16. 28 minus 12 is 16. Uh, minus 38i. So 28, negative 12, positive 16. So now let's distribute the 6 across. Well, 6 times 16 is a 96, and 6 times a negative 38 is a negative, or minus 228i. And so our final answer here is just 96 minus 228i. negative 2 minus 2i times negative 4 minus 3i times 7 plus 8i. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to deal with the first two parentheses, multiply them out. Negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8, and negative 2 times a minus 3i is a positive 6i. Negative 2i times a negative 4 is a positive 8i. And negative 2 times a negative 3i is a positive 6i squared. Okay. Well, bring down the 7 plus 8i. And if you've been watching my videos, when I simplify this, I can have 8, um, right there, it just comes down. But then 6i and 8i is a 14i, so we have plus a 14i right here. If you were watching my videos, we know that i squared is a negative 1. Negative 1 times 6 is a negative 6. Right there. So let's bring down the 7 plus 8i. Well, 8 and negative 6 is a 2. So we have 2 plus 14i here. 
and now that's going to multiply by 7 plus 8i. So now I'm going to multiply these two together. 2 times 7 is 14, and 2 times 8i is a 16i. Now 14i times 7, 14 times 7, I don't know what's on my head, 14 times 7 is a 98, so we have a plus positive 98i, and then 14 times 8 is a 112, so we have plus 112i ah, squared, i squared. Okay, 14i times 8i being 112i squared. So let's go combine these two in the middle. All right, so we have 14 here uh, plus, well, 6i plus 98i, oh, off the top of my head, it is 114, so we have 114i. And then here, well, i squared is a negative 1. All right, negative 1 times 12 is negative 112, so we have minus a 112 right here. Okay? So now we have, we can combine 14 and negative 112, which comes out to be a, 90, a negative 98. So we have negative 98 plus 114i, and that is our final answer. 5i plus 7i times i. All right. Well, right now I have to deal with my multiplication first. So I'm going to bring down the 5i right there. But 7i times i is 7i squared. And i squared now, we know, is a negative 1. So we have 5 plus 5i plus 7 times a negative 1, which in reality, though, is a negative 7. So we have a negative 7 right there. Normally with complex numbers, we write that number up front. So we have a negative 7 here up front plus a 5i. And that is our final answer. 6i to the third power. Okay. Well, this one though is a little tricky because <clears throat> we have 6i to the third power. That's really just 6i times 6i times 6i, right? So some people, once you get comfortable, you can say, okay, it's 6 to the third times i to the third, and go from there, and which we can. And um, let's do that, actually. So we're going to see how it's broken down, but let's just multiply that. 6 times 6 times 6. Oh, I don't know, 6 to the third. It's 6 times 36, which is 216. Hmm. So if 216 times, well, in reality, instead of i to the third, I'm going to write it as i squared times i. Same thing, right? I, 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 we multiply I squared times I. And the reason why I separate it by the I squared is because we know I squared is a negative 1. So we have 216 times a negative 1 times an I. Well, negative 1 times 216 is a negative 216, so now we just have negative 216I, and that is our final answer. 6I times negative 4 i plus 8. Well, first things first, I need to multiply these two out. All right, you can't forget the order of operations. 6i times a negative 4i is a negative 24i squared, right? And we bring down the 8. Well, i squared is a negative 1, so we have negative 24 times a negative 1 plus 8. Well, negative 24 times a negative 1 is a positive 24. So we have positive 24 plus 8. 24 plus 8 just a 32. So my, in this case, my final answer is just 32. Negative 6 times 4 minus 6i. Well, <clears throat> if I want to uh, simplify this, what I need to do is multiply the negative 6 across. Negative 6 times 4 is a negative uh, 24, and negative 6 times a negative 6i is a positive 36i. And that's basically it. This problem is done. <laughs> Pretty simple problem here. And our final answer is just negative 24 plus a 36i. 8 minus 3i all squared. Well, when I see something like that all squared, I immediately write it to both parts. You multiply 8 minus 3i times 8 minus 3i. This allows me to better see how I have to quote unquote foil. 8 times 8 is a 64, and 8 times a minus 3i is a minus 24i. Negative 3i times 8 is a negative 24i. 
and negative three times a negative uh, negative three i times a negative three i is a positive nine i squared. But let's simplify this. Sixty four comes down. Negative twenty four i minus twenty four i comes out to be a negative forty eight i. And then the nine here times uh, i squared we know is a negative one. Well, really, that's a negative 9, right? So we have 64 minus 48i minus 9 right there. So now to combine 64 plus a negative 9, in a sense, here is a uh, 55. So we have a 55 right there minus 48i, and that is our final answer. 3 plus 7i minus 3i. Minus four. Well, we really can use this in one big step: is combine our like numbers. Three and a minus four come out to be a negative one. So we have a negative one out front. Three minus four, and seven i minus three is a four i. So we have negative one plus four i. That's it. Our final answer here: the complex number is just negative one plus four i. Negative three i times 6i minus 3 times negative 7 plus 6i. Well, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to multiply negative 3i times a 6i. That comes out to be a negative 18i squared. And then we're going to subtract that by, well, we're going to distribute this uh, uh, minus of the 3 across. And actually, let's distribute it as a minus 3. So, negative 3 times a negative 7, right, is a positive. Negative times a negative is a positive. A positive 21. And negative 3 times a 6i is a negative uh, 18 i. Well, we now have negative 18i squared plus 21 minus 18i. Well, i squared is a negative 1. So, we have negative 18 times a negative 1 plus 21 minus 18 Negative 18 times negative 1 is a positive 18, so we have positive 18 here, plus a 21, minus 18i. Ah. Well, we can combine the 18 and the 21 together, and so that comes out to be a 39, so we have 39 here, minus 18i, and that is our final answer. Negative 6i times 8 minus 6i times a negative, no parentheses, negative 8 minus 8i. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the negative 6i on the outside here. And I'm going to multiply all this out. 8 times 8 is a 64, and 8 times a negative 8i is a negative 64i. Negative 6 times 8, or negative 8, is a positive 48i. And negative 6 times a negative 8i is a positive 48i squared. Okay? So let's see if we can simplify this down a little bit here. <clears throat> oh, 8, sorry, 8 times 8 is a negative 64. I almost forgot that part. Good thing I uh, remembered it right here. Alright, negative 6i times all right, negative 64 out front here. Let's go combine negative 64i plus a 48i. Oh, comes out to be, oh, what is that, uh, 16, negative 16, yes, negative 16, by right, 2, 50, yeah, negative 16, so we have a negative 16 right here, okay, uh, i, and then plus, well, 48, that's, um, times i squared is a negative 1, so 48 times a negative 1, okay, well, it's really a negative 48, and so when we combine that with 60, the negative 64, we're left with a negative 6, I out front here, and negative 64 plus a negative 48. Oh, I'm going to do it on the side here. 64 plus 48, so I don't make a mistake at the top of my head. Uh, 2, 4 plus a, is a 12, 2, carry the 1, 6, 10, 112. I should have known that. All right, we have negative 112 right here because it's negative 48 and a negative 64. Okay, minus 16i. From here, we need to distribute, though, that negative 6i to both parts. So, negative 6i times a negative 112, which I don't know off the top of my head. Negative 6 times negative 112 should be a positive number. It's a positive 672i. Don't forget the i. 
and then negative 6i times negative 16i. So 6 times 16, um, negative times a negative is a positive. We have positive 96i squared. Well, we know i squared is a negative 1, so we have 67, uh, 672i plus 96 times a negative 1. And when we write our complex numbers, uh, we need to write the number out first, and so we have a negative 96, because 96 times negative 1 is a negative 96. So we have negative 96 out front plus 672i, and that is our final answer. Okay. How are the following problems different? So how are the problem, uh, following problems different? Well, they give us these two. They simplify, so I'm going to write this one time. Simplify. They give us these two. So I'm going to write them next to each other here. 2 plus x times 3 minus 2x. And the second one is 2 plus i times 3 minus 2i. And what you can see is basically they're essentially the same except one has the variable x and one has the uh, imaginary number i. So what we're going to do is we're going to simplify each one of these individually so we can determine what is the difference, all right? Or if they are different. So let's just distribute here. 2 times 3 is a 6 and 2 times a minus 2x is a minus 4x. x times 3 is a 3x and x times a minus 2x is a minus 2x squared. So we can simplify this. Well, 6 minus 4x plus 3x minus 2x squared, we have to combine our like terms, which is just the minus 4x and 3x. So we have 6 here minus, okay, well, 4x and negative 4x and 3x is just 1x, and we're subtracting it, or minus 1x. So we have minus x minus 2x squared. Okay, now we can rewrite this and put the x squared first. Uh, we don't really need to right now to really do our comparison. We can see if they're any different. So let's distribute this one. 2 times 3 is a 6, and 2 times a minus 2i is a minus 4i. i times 3 is a positive 3i, and i times a minus 2i is a minus 2i squared. So far, nothing is different with these two. Let's simplify a little bit more here. We have 6 minus, now we combine the 4i, a minus 4i, and 3i to be a minus 1i. But here gets the, uh, the tricky part. The i squared we know is a negative 1. So we have a negative 2 times a negative 1. Okay? Well, that's where it starts getting different here. Well, the minus 2 times a negative 1 is really a positive 2. So we have 6 minus i plus 2 going on here. We combine the 6 and the 2 to come out to be an 8, so we have an 8 minus i. So we can clearly see that this answer, when we simplify, and this one are completely different. This one, we didn't do anything with the x squared. We had to leave it as such. But this one, that i squared really caused an issue. i squared simplified to be negative 1. And then that distributes the minus 2 to make it a positive 2. And then we brought that with a 6. So now we have 8 minus i here. And this one involved a few more steps, or really one more step, if you will. But it depends on who you're asking for. And this is a critical thinking question. We're going to ask ourselves here, how are the following problems different? And we need to simplify each one to determine that. So, if I was given these two problems, and I'll write them separately. 2 plus x minus 3 minus 2x. And the other problem is 2 plus i minus 3 minus 2 so you can see these two problems are pretty much exactly the same, except one has the variable x, and the other one has the letter i, i meaning imaginary number. So let's go simplify each one individually and see if there's anything different here. Well, first thing, I need to distribute that minus sign into the parentheses. So we have 2 plus x here. That becomes a minus 3, and then subtracting a negative 2x is adding a positive 2x. At this point, I want to combine my like terms. 2 and negative 3 come together to be a negative 1. And then the x and 2x come together to be a 3x, leaving me with a negative 1 plus 3x as my final answer for this one. 
Let's do the same thing with the imaginary. Same rules, really. We have to distribute this minus sign first. So by doing that, let's rewrite the 2 plus i, distributing the minus 3, so the minus to the 3, minus 3 now, and minus to the minus 2i is a positive 2i. At this point, when we combine our like numbers, 2 and a negative 3 is a negative 1, and i and 2i are 3i. In this case, as far as our steps, we simplify both all the way, and there is nothing different. The only difference really being this is a variable, and this is an imaginary number. But other than that, all the steps were exactly the same. So let's recap. We're in it, we were given um, 2 plus x minus 3 minus 2x, and 2 plus i minus 3 minus 2i. Essentially, two, exact, uh, two problems that are exactly the same, one with a variable, one with an imaginary number. We were asked to simplify and determine if there's any difference there. We determined there wasn't, and they came out to be, what, the same, right? But let's go through that again. We simplified both. We distributed the subtraction sign to both parts. We did that here. And that was exactly the same. From there, we combined our like terms and like numbers. 2 and minus 3 became a negative 1, right there and here. And x and 2x became 3x, and here i and 2i became a positive 3i. At this point, there's nothing else that we can do to simplify, and we see that the steps were exactly the same for both of the left and the right one. And our final answer was pretty much the same. Again, the difference being this has a variable that has an imaginary number. So again, our final answer here is these are really the same. Or the same math, steps. Minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math. Minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.